Have you ever found that your drives just lack a little bit of oomph and that you just aren't quite finding those gaps? Well, then this video is for you. In this video, we'll be covering three major top hand batting mistakes. We'll be showing you each of the mistakes, how to do it correctly, and then finish the video with some drills to help you fix them. Mistake number one is having an unstable top wrist through the contact point. Having your top wrist being unstable or dropping sideways or just breaking upwards through the contact point will cause you to lose a bunch of power. The way to think about this is if you are a boxer, which punch will be stronger? A punch with a strong wrist position or a weak floppy wrist position? Some other problems you'll be facing is swing path changes. Whether that be pulling your arms slightly around the body or just letting the bat flare upwards early. This will make you lose control of your shot, possibly causing a bunch of issues, such as you missing out on runs because you're not hitting the gaps you want or chipping it upwards and getting caught. So what do we want to see? Well, ideally, we want to see a strong, almost locked top wrist position in a straight line through the contact point. This will give us our ideal power through the shot, as well as having our bat angle in the best position to keep the ball on the ground and limit risk. The final big thing is making sure that the bat always goes through the line of the contact point and in the correct line, helping you hit your areas more consistently. Mistake number two is having your elbow drop to the side while playing the shots. When we drop our elbow to the leg side, one of two things can happen. We can either slice the ball when the bottom hand pushes across the line, forcing the bat face to open up, or we can almost rotate the blade on contact, which will cause us to play around our body and almost pull the ball to the leg side. So ultimately, this causes a massive loss of control through the entirety of our front foot shots. Ideally, what we'd like to see is the front elbow going through the line of the ball in the same line that you'd like to hit the ball. By doing this, we'll ensure that the blade of the bat hits perfectly through the ball, helping us control the angle of the bat as well as add a bit more power on our shots. And finally, mistake number three is having your front arm's elbow pull upwards instead of extending forwards through the contact point. This one is not as crucial as some of the others covered in this video, but it has one massive disadvantage if done, and that is a big drop off in power. The reason you miss out on so much power when pulling your hands up on contact is simply because the bat rolls over the ball at the point of contact instead of fully compressing the ball. What we want to do is have a slight extension of both our arms through the contact point. This forces the bat further through the line of the ball, enabling us to fully compress the ball every single time. Obviously, this gets us our ideal power when we fully do this, and it will help the ball go over the boundary rope that much easier. Now that we know the mistakes, let's look at some drills that will help you fix or improve on these three errors. Hey all, just a quick break in this video. If you want to support us and help us make more videos like this, please consider becoming a member of this channel or purchasing one of our training schedules on our website. We really do appreciate every single one of you. Let's get straight back to the video. For the first rule, we look at some single-handed drives. With this one, you can do it both with drop downs as well as slow underarms. It's up to you and what level you are at. The big focus points are simply keeping that top wrist stable and as strong as possible and making sure that the front elbow works through the line of the ball all the way in front of your face. By doing this, we make sure to work on all three of the mistakes, enabling us to improve drastically on the correct feeling our top end needs through the contact point. Not good enough. Drill number two is a bit more basic and it's simply driving with your hands pulling against a resistance band. For this one, it's important to make sure that the band is not too powerful. Take a fairly supple one, as we just want to encourage the correct feeling of the arm slightly extending through the contact point and not really the fatigue aspect of pulling against a tight band. All you have to do is to take a small step into your drive and let your shoulders rotate through the swing with a slight extension of both your arms, really focusing on keeping your shape and making sure that the front elbow works forwards through the contact point. Finally, for drill number three, we will swing through a channel. With this drill, you will need two cones to form a channel that we'll be working through. You can do this with stationary balls, underarms, 
drop downs and slow arms, although we really do not prefer the latter. Basically, all you want to be doing is hitting the ball through the channel created by the cones and pulling your hands back through that same channel to a starting point. So forwards swing through the channel and then an inverse swing back through the channel. While doing this, I want you to focus on the exact points as in the previous drills. So a strong top wrist, making sure the elbows work through the channel, forward, and slightly extending both your arms through a contact point. A massive thank you to all the members that continually support us and help make these videos possible. If you'd like to see another video covering some mistakes that could be affecting your game, check out the video over here.